Welcome back everyone to our Flyers season NHL 18 and as you can see things are looking good as uh, apparently Voracek, Jordan Wheel and Couturier all got injured. Uh, they must have got injured in the last game at some point or maybe they got injured making themselves a sandwich at home. I don't know because they were playing against the Sharks. We know Giroux has been out but his other three got injured and they're out. Like, not even able to play. So, and they're out till December. <laughs> that's our entire front. That's our first line. Like, Jeru, Katori, and Voracek is literally our top line. And they're all out injured now. And then Jordan Wheel is injured again. So, um, yeah, this is, this is terrible. I have brought up a few other players. We have another rookie up there. Vecchione's back up. Um, I mean, we're very thin and forward now. It's, I, I don't know, it's going to be hard. I think our offense is about to struggle a bit, unless Ivan Provorov keeps pumping in the goals from the back. But just wanted to show you guys what we're up against there, because we got the Bruins next. We are currently 10th in the East. That would make them 9th, I believe, because it looks like they have one more point than us. We've won a few in a row here to jump ourselves back up a bit, but... Now with these injuries, I don't know. I mean, luckily the injuries aren't going to last too much longer. There should be a few games till some of them will be able to come back and play. But uh, I see in the division now we're fourth in division and we're seven points out of first from the Capitals. I don't know if we'll be able to catch them, but um, but let's go. We got the Bruins next. This is a big game. We know they don't give up a lot of goals. We know we're missing half of our forwards so but we're at home so what we're gonna do is wear these bright orange ones and have the Bruins wear something funky now that any of my friends out there that are Boston Bruins fans Hopefully you guys enjoy this one. Chris or Sean Turk. Tanisha, if any of you are out there watching this one. Petro. Alright, they're going to go with those black ones. So here we go. Uh, Neuwirth should be a net for this one. So let me make sure the announcers are turned off because I didn't commentate the last game. There we go. Yeah, so this should be uh, interesting <laughs> with all these injuries. Our top line right now is, gosh, I don't even know who it is anymore. I think Nolan Patrick, our rookie, is up on the top line because he's been playing really well for us. And I just figured why not put him on the top line with Simmons and Philpola. And then the rest of our lines are just kind of mixed and matched. Guys moved around. Our defensive core is still the same as it's been for the past few games because they're healthy at least my goodness could we have to deal with any more injuries this season so far there's beautiful Philly at night here looking good the Boston Bruins come to town we know this is always a, uh, a chippy game, a rough game, a good game. One of the other rivals that we have, but they're no Pittsburgh Penguins, that's for sure. Um, should be quite entertaining game for you guys at home. At least I hope so. Hopefully we don't get destroyed here, but we've been so good at home. I want to continue that. Even though we have all these injuries, there's Bergeron. Take the face off against Nolan Patrick. Here we go. One by Patrick there. Bruins coming through strong. We don't want Char to let go. This is the first time we played the Bruins this season. Nolan Patrick with it. He'll wrist it in. Gonna try and get some four checking going here early on. Put the Bruins under some pressure. Patrick up in Char's grill. Bruins playing it around. They do manage to get it out nicely. There's Bergeron. Does a move. Astronach finds it back there. Chara. So Bruins already giving us problems here. Simmons will pick it up. 
Here's Simmons, hasn't scored in a while, takes the shot, beaten away easily by who I assume is Tuka Rask. Ooh. I didn't see who their starting goalie was. Here's Chara, intercepted, ooh, we nearly lose it there. Provorov, who again continues to bang in the goals for us. I think he's got 10 of them. Oh, what a save by Neuvert, the glove shot. I wasn't sure I wristed that around, but having trouble getting out of our own zone here. Here's Lawton up on the second line here. Martell, the rookie back in with all the injuries. He's back up there, and he's playing on the second line. Lawton, shot beaten away by Rask, still in the zone. Konechny and Krejci, but it goes out to Ryan Spooner. Spooner with the speed around the wing there, but... Nicely done by Sam Morin. Goss to spare. Can't do anything with it. Here's Morin now. Banks it off the boards to Vecchione. Can't quite do it. Goss to spare. Ooh. Poked away again. The Bruins have it. Tori Krug. Here's Fitrano. In the slot. David Backus. Neuverth has it. He covers up. Bruins are passing it pretty well here. There's Goss to spare, but Neuberth gobbles it up. It's going to be Vecchion against Bacchus. Vecchion wins it. Ag wrists around the boards. Picked up by Raffle. He's checked to the ground. Dropped off now. The shot wide. Toronto battling with Hag. Still the Bruins have it. McQuaid poked away from him. Toronto out in front. Oh! Still loose. The Bruins are all over us here. I mean, again, I've switched up my lines. I've had to. Been forced to. And we're, you know, we don't have our captain out there. We haven't had him for a while. But no Voracek, no Couturier either. Matt Reed with it. Oh, he's flattened there. Hagel wrist it in. Try and get some offensive zone time here. Miller. Takes it out of the back. McKavey. And I'm not sure how you say some of their names. Schaller's in. Oh! I thought he'd beaten uh, Neuwirth for a moment. Latera is on the fourth line today. Even though he's done a lot for us so far this season. Bruins slap it back in. It's going to be picked up here by Sanheim. Now Gudis. Taylor Lear back in. We'll get into the zone. Terra trying to put Carlo under pressure. We do win it. Simmons plays it down low. Here's Lear. He's knocked to the ice. He sticks with it. Finds Laterra. The wrister hit off the par. Oof. And it goes out of play. Good shift there. There's Tori Krug. Leads his team of points because look at that. 18 assists so far this year with seven goals. He's playing like our defense is. Getting the points, well, at least uh, Gostas Bear and Provorov are. Sanheim looking for Nolan Patrick, can't quite get it to him. Nolan Patrick's playing a lot of confidence right now. I love it. Only well, he could start playing like this in real life. He's had his moments, but hasn't really shined too bright yet. Well, that one chops off. We still have it. Gostas Bear slap shot blocked by Bergeron. Bruins trying to get it out. And they will. There's Pasternak. Pasternak against Sanheim now. Marshan. Neuverth has it and covers up. Took him a second to find it. Simmons. He's our top point getter though despite his recent slump. Because he has picked up some assists in there. But just the 12 goals now. Which isn't bad but he was on a tear for a bit. Krug. Very good skater. He's coming up over here. Look at Valeski, I think that was, I wasn't sure. Now Krejci, look at the Bruins, just, they look like they're on a power play right now. Fans booing a little bit here. They're getting restless. You know, Philly fans, we know we are very passionate fans. We certainly are. We're educated too. Here's Spooner. So are Boston fans, and look at this. Finally, we get it out of there. Lawton. Looking for Martel, but just gets out of his reach. Wrist it down low. 
Martel, he's flattened. I mean, the Bruins are playing us like they know we have all these injuries and we're playing with a bunch of young guys. Here's Reed, one of the veterans we have in there. Gonna need him to have a big game. Hag trying to step up. What a good surprise Hag's been for us on both ends of the ice. Getting some points and a couple goals. Playing well in defense. I think he really plays it all in real life right now. Maybe he does, I don't know. I know he's played a few games. Vecchione. Reed! Oh, he couldn't get the shot off. His crew came across. It was a good pass by Vecchione. Morin. Sit around Reed. Egg. Rafa, he'll get it in. I think they're going for a change. Gavey. The Toronto. He'll rest it in. Going up the side. Now Taylor Lear will pick it up. Dale Weiss. Ah, that was not what I wanted to do. <laughs> David Backus. Evers sitting in the zone. It's just pretty much trading dump-ins now. Bruins are tough to get anything going, really. I looked at the stats. They're one of the better defensive teams in the league, as you'd expect. But Weiss got it too late. Still has it. Oh, I was trying to feed it to Wadir, but it wasn't a good pass by Weiss. Pasternak flattened there. By Sanheim, I think. We can't keep possession here. Pasternak. Hooked away from him. He recovers in the slot for Bergeron. Twisting and turning. Lear sticking with him. Good play there by Philpola. Just gets it out of the zone. But the back come the Bruins. Sanheim does well. The side for Vecchione. He's going in. Trying to drop it off. Simmons. Now Philpola. Trying to get it to Vecchione, but it's poked away. Stays with it. Down low again. Get some zone time here, but we can't create anything. Simmons. Provorov has it. Saved by Rask. We saw Provorov. He has a few goals from that range. Including last game against the Sharks. Bergeron now. Bursting it around. Bruins lose it. Vecchione. Simmons. In the zone. Provorov is very dangerous on those slappers from up top. It's good accuracy with them. They don't want Gostas Bear shooting either, so if he gets closed down, we just move it over. There's Bergeron's shot. Saved by uh, Neuwirth. He covers it up. Pushes it wide. Botten now. Trying to go inside out on Miller. Can't do it. Bolesky. He's hit. Ryan Spooner now. You know, he's got speed. He gets around one. A good interception there by Sanheim. Martel, the rookie. Going to go around. Can't. Loses it. And the Bruins have it again. Carlo Bolesky against Provorov. Still Bolesky has it. McQuaid, his shot never got through to Neuwirth. But it's given away. Bolesky deflected and Neuwirth got a piece of it. Krejci, Spooner, Carlo, hooked away there. Still the Bruins have it. Konechny, Lear. Oh, the Bruins are really all over us this period. Oh, here comes Spooner now as they intercept it again. McQuaid, they sit back in. Now Dale Weiss needs some help. Loses it. McQuaid. McAvey. Schaller. Zarnik. Oh, his wrists are low and just a bit wide. I can't get it over there. Well, we are having trouble getting the puck here. That one just deflected enough on the shot. The Bruins pick it up again. This is unbelievable. The amount of zone time that they're going to have here. Here's Lear. 
We go for a change, but Leah, and we go off sides. A very sloppy. They should kickbox. <laughs> yeah, a little round of kickboxing in between. Why not? Uh, <laughs> since fist fighting is almost out of the game itself, why not just move on to kickboxing? <laughs> you know, skates won't do that much damage, so. I'll fill pull intercepts. We are having a struggling period. Chance here. Simmons. Oh, at the buzzer trying to get one off, but it's poked away. The Bruins played just like we expected them to. But 0-0 zero, zero after one. Oh, our entire front top line is injured. But and we struggled to get some offense as we expected. We've been a very good offensive team. I think we're second in the league in goals scored only behind um I wanna say it's San Jose. One of those teams like San Jose, Tampa Bay, someone like that. Um as you can see the Bruins we only had three shots that period. Um Time on attack, Bruins more than a minute up on us there, so we really need to step it up here. At home, fans have been a little restless here. Not much to cheer about. We've been very good at home. We're sitting just below the Bruins in the overall Eastern Conference standings, so this is a big game. We want to remain as in it as we can until we get all of our players healthy again, especially Giroux. It's going to be out for a while. There's Nolan Patrick. The wrister. Oh. Rask was going to his, his left. Came back to his right to save that. Nolan Patrick, the hero against the Pittsburgh Penguins for us. Two games ago. Bruins win it. Krug. Patrice Bergeron. Now David Pasternak against Provorov. Goes around him. What a move by Pasternak. And Neuwirth saves it. Oh, Provorov was exposed there. Look at some pushing and shoving here. Oh my gosh, we really need to... Bruins win another face-off. Krug. Filpola steals it nicely. He's just waiting for somebody to break out. There it is. Nolan Patrick. And easy save for Krug. I mean, for Krug. For Rask. And he will... Covered up. Wells Fargo center here in Philadelphia. Bruins, Flyers still not at zero early in the second. Krug. We are currently 10th in the Eastern Conference. We need to get, I'd like to make the playoffs. There's a shot and a save by Neuwirth. Now Martel. Looking to go around Chara and does not. Martell's tried a few moves today and hasn't pulled off any of them. Krejci. Martell lifted Bolesky's stick so he couldn't shoot it. Krejci, good job by Martell. Bruins still have it in the zone. Now it's loose and Martell will pick it up. And he'll get in. Twist it around. Konechny picks it up, keeps it in the zone. Martell. Lawton couldn't quite get off his shot because his stick was lifted. Bolesky chopped away from him. Morin will wrist it around. Ovecchione doesn't want to give this away. Instead, wrist it around. Egg now, Raffle. We were patient getting out there. Michael Raffle. The Let's Go Flyers chant is starting. I can hear it. Fans trying to get us into this one. Bacchus. He moves up around. That one, that shot blocked. Bodies flying all over the place here. And the rebound in front and Bacchus scores. Well, I can't say they didn't deserve it. We've ever saved the first one. The rebound was right there and nobody had Bacchus. His fifth of the year. So you can see here we had two guys down on the ice and therefore a wide open David Backus in front from uh, Frank Vitrano. Bruins take the lead here. We are in a great uh, defensive team although we've played much better stretches of the season. 
And we've gotten great goaltending from Neuwirth, but we do give up more goals than I want to. Here come the Bruins again. That shot blocked by Gudis. Picked up by Pasternak, though. I mean, this is tough. I'm having a hard time here, guys, as you can probably see. Bruins have all their players healthy here, and they are really making it difficult. I'm trying to keep us in this one. Nolan Patrick, he's got the step. Wrists it. Oh, and a save by Tukarask. That was a good chance. Pasternak now goes around Sanheim, and the Bruins are going to have a power play, I believe. I think. Sanheim. And that was, I'm not sure what that was for. They're showing Pasternak for some reason. Is it a penalty shot? I believe it's a penalty shot. I'm not sure for what. Said I barely touched him. This is a weak call. Come on, Neuwirth. And Neuwirth shuts it down. Well done. Because they didn't deserve that at all. Pasternak did too many moves and got too wide. But, I mean, Sanheim just tapped him. And they gave a penalty shot. Justice is served, though. As they don't score on it. Sarnik, Akiri, Akari, or whatever. I'm not sure what his name is. Akiri, Akari. Asiari, I don't know. I'm going to call him Akari. Like Atari. I don't care. Here's Lawton. Chara, Schaller. He's working. Good job by Provorov. Akari bumped off it, still has it. Still Akari. Schaller. Akari now. Chara. His shot blocked by Lawton. Chara steps right in there. Shot saved. And we're breaking it through. The Bruins are really hammering us right now. Oh, we can't even get that pass off. Now Lawton. He'll wrist one blocked by Chara. Man, we are struggling here. This is a real tough game. That one blocked. Oh, Schaller's rebound goes high and wide. Martel, I mean, we expected to struggle with all the injuries. This, It's really almost unfair. And that one, just a simple dump in that Rask covers up. So we'll get an offensive zone faceoff. It's only one nothing. Still got half the game to go. Bruins win the face-off, though. Krejci. Goes around the net behind McGavey. McQuaid, his shot is slow and blocked wide. My controller batteries are low, apparently. So next face-off, I'll have to pause it and plug it in. Reed. Hag. Deflected. It's in! <laughs> we got one. We got a body. I think it's Vecchione. And this place is awake now. We've scored. Oh boy. I'll plug in the controller now while the replays are going. Nicely done. Vecchioni's first, not only of the season, but of his career. The rookie. So Hag and Reed with the assist, Hag's wrister deflected in by Vecchione and we've tied the game at one, somehow. That shot, Bruins nearly answer right away. And now the fans are into it. And the fans, look at that, they're on their feet, they're chanting. We're getting in their faces now. Let's go, got to push back here. There it is, Vecchio, well done. So he steps up. With all the injuries. I was hoping it would have been maybe Wayne Simmons or Michael Raffle, Scott Lawton, Philpolo, one of those guys, the veterans, but 
Oh, big hit there by Sanheim. The youngsters are playing well here. Simmons. Oh, that one nearly dropped in. So, uh, Rask lost sight of it when it was in the air. I did too. It nearly bounced in. This is better. This is our best stretch of the game right now. But here comes here comes uh, Miller. Gudis trying to kick it around. He does. Patrick digs it out. Sanheim now. Simmons. Hard around the boards because Lear was chipping in. He keeps it in. Simmons. And let's go Flyers again. Vetrano. Oh, Process Bear took it away from him for a second, but it stayed with him. It's Taylor Lear. Trying to do a move. Holds it around. Rask. The good save. No rebound. The Terra was lurking. There's Neuwirth. has played well again. He really hasn't put in too bad of a shift yet in this season. Even the games he's lost, he's played pretty well in. It's really Elliot that's been struggling a lot. Elliot's had some decent games, but not enough to warrant him the number one spot. That one would look dangerous. Here's Krug, though, to keep it around. Chara. Krug. Blocked by his own player. Solaric, or whatever his name is. That one blocked. Oh. Absolutely hammered there, but we stuck with it. Konechny. Lawton's soft wrister. Rask lost it in the pads. But he covers up for the faceoff. Konechny against uh, Dio Krejci here. And Bruins win another faceoff. Appears that they are dominating the faceoff circle here. Here's Spooner. He loses it. Hag, Lawton, Konechny. Konechny, just the wrister. Didn't think he was going to get around Char, so I kind of just decided to go for a shot. Reed, oof. Flex back to Rask. He was looking for Hag in that last pass. Cause Here they go. Krejci, Spooner. Sanha, oh no, Hag, sorry, was over there. Saved by Neuwirth in the end. Krejci, looking out front, but it couldn't find a Bruin. Spooner now, he's tripped. Bruins will go on the power play here. So a power play for the Bruins, but our penalty kill has been pretty decent lately. Remember we had that one game against Vancouver where we had about 12 penalty. So we had to try and kill off. We do win the face off and we will clear. There's Carlo. Bruins started up, Pasternak. Marshan keeps it. His shot slowed down. We can't get it out of the zone, though. Laterra does very well to win that puck and get it out. We picked up here by Lawton. Scott Lawton trying to get a shorthanded goal there, but his shot never got through. Lovrov wins it, tries to get it out. Can't. We still have it. Saved by Neuvert. The Bruins had a one-timer there. Dumped in now by Laterra. 45 to go on the Bruins' power play. Marshan. A Pasternak. Going around Gudis, who isn't quite as quick as him, that's for sure. That one deflected. Povrov takes it away. Slaps it way down the ice. 20 to go. We're surviving here. We really want our penalty kill to be reliable. Which it has been lately. Guys like Laterra. Pasternak shot deflected and it went just wide. And Rafa almost beat out that icing. He's out of the box. Power play's over though. So we did kill off another one. And of course Neuwirth's been big on the penalty kill. We can't forget about the goalie. Couturier has always been good for us, but he's, of course, out right now. There's Raffle. 
Raffle. Taylor Lear puts it in. <laughs> Raffle was patient there, and he found Taylor Lear streaking in on the left. And we have a lead. His second goal of the season. See Raffle. The defense collapsed in, and Rask cheated too much. It was beat. And unbelievably, we have the lead here. This is, I mean, we haven't played well enough to really have a, a lead, but we did just kill off a penalty. We saved a penalty shot. McQuaid now trying to get back into it. Bruins come right back here. Look at this. Belaski. Krejci with it now. Sanheim. Bill pull up. Finds Simmons. His slapper. Beaten down by Rask. There was a rebound though. More. Bill pull up. it around. Simmons first to it. Haig. Keeps it in there. Simmons again. Sit around. Patrick. Simmons. Trying to turn here. Can't. Keeps it in the zone. This is a really good shift here from our now top line. Simmons, Philpola, and Patrick. We just can't get a good chance here. That's all. Good zone time. Matt Bolesky. He goes around again. Rebound. Poked away. Morin's got it. Again, Neuber does well. Vecchione had her first goal this period. Haig. His shot, and I don't, never got through to Rask. His body's all over the place there. We're starting to get some good shifts here. Period's almost over. We do keep it in. Vecchione blocked away. Good finish to that period for the Flyers here. Good job, guys. We take the lead going in to the third. There was the Bacchus goal, but we came back with two goals of our own. I'll take it. Third period, here we go. Bruins still leading in shots, but we do have the lead. Two to one. You're in Wells Fargo Center. See Bruins pretty much dominating the face-off circle. We do win that one, though. Get it in deep. Oh, Phil pull up. <laughs> the big hit on Krug. Tried to pick up the puck and get a wraparound chance. We couldn't quite collect it. There's Krug. He goes around one. Still Krug, what a save by Michael Neuwirth. Ooh, flashing some leather there. There's Phil pull up. Rask was falling behind him and he grabbed it. Philpola's another guy we need to start scoring again with. Picked up there. Bruins have it out in front. Oh, Provorov with a good stick in there to break that up. Another one covered up by Neuwirth. I'm just going to hold on to that. The Bruins are buzzing here. Want to be smart with it. Try and win this face off. One thing we can take from is you know the Bruins aren't a great offensive team. They have their moments, but they aren't a team you look at and you fear like they're going to go and score five, six goals on you every game. Like some of these teams. Spooner. So our offense can hang with them just a bit. We get it in. Just keep working hard. That one couldn't be collected. Good job by Konechny on the back check, but Spooner getting in our grill. Haig skating around, does manage to find teammate, oh, and we wrist it back in. Quaid, Solarik. They just dump it in. That one deflected towards uh, Neuwirth, who had to kick it away. Becky Owen. 
Looking for Reed. Oh, it hit the post. Collected it and tried to wrist it as soon as I could. Becky on. Keeps it in the zone nicely there. Reed. Apple. Oh. Becky Owens having a good game out there. Now he was one of the ones that we permanently pretty much keep. Hey, we just got, I was going to say, that's got to be a penalty. And the Bruins are going to go to the penalty kill. We will have a power play here. Chance to add to our lead. Now, I don't even remember who's on our power play right now because pretty much all the forwards we want are injured. <laughs> Looks like we have... Nolan Patrick, Martell, and Simmons. So two rookies and Wayne Simmons. And then, of course, Gostas, Baron Provorov will be out there. Both dangerous with the shot. So Martell getting a shot here on the power play. Provorov. That one's shot. Saved by Rask. It's still loose. Chara has it, and he'll get it out all the way down. So we, that's one of the guys we want shooting it. It's Provorov. Simmons. We want him to get more in front of the net here. Nearly loses it though. Just it down low. Martel will collect it. Oh, a bad pass. Sends the puck way out of the zone. Neuvert will pick it up. And we'll have to start again here. Minute gone by already on the power play. Here's Martel. Pulls up. Nolan Patrick. Gostas bears. Simmons. Nolan Patrick, it's tipped and it's in. And the refs are saying no goal. Wait a second here. Martel may have gotten it with a high stick. Fans are celebrating. I don't know if it's going to count or not. It might. Oof, that's close. If his stick's above the crossbar, it won't count. Let's see what the verdict is. No goal, no goal. So that won't count. Martel thought he had the second goal of his career, but we thought we had ourselves a power play goal, but we continue, so still two to one. Bruins clear. Konechny. Oh, does keep it in to Lear. Gostas Bear, Provorov. Gostas Bear's one timer, nowhere near the net. Power plays over. Gostas Bear again, blocked. Power and oh, the Bruins are going on the power play again. Crazy. Bad penalty there by, uh, I think that's Lear. Yep. So now a chance for the Bruins to tie it up after we thought we had a 3-1 lead there for a moment. Penalty kill. Has to step up again. They get it out right away. Lawton, Gudis, Provorov. That one's loose. Oh, Provorov did just enough so they couldn't get that, collect that rebound and put it in. There's Chara. That one came out of the zone. It's going to be a face-off just outside the zone here. We can win this. We can clear it up the ice. We do win it, and Morin clears it. Lawton does well. Tries to find his move there, but Char steals it. It's away from him. Lawton picks it up. Can't quite get it out of there. Bruins still have it. Krejci. Backus. Good save by Neuwirth. Again, oh, what another great save by Neuwirth on the kick there. Backus, another save by Neuwirth. And the fans give Neuwirth a nice um, deserved cheer there. Another one! <laughs> Well, if we win this game now, we know who is to thank for this. Michael Neuwirth. Some big saves here in the power play when we need it. 
the thing about Elliott, Elliott hasn't really come up with the big saves when we need them. The team's struggling to get it out. Still got to focus here. Back is poked away from him by Gudis. Lawton power play is over. Taylor Lear. Shit. I had a guy over there, but I didn't. Here's Lear. Oh, come on. Looking for somebody. There we go. He worked it around up top. Sanheim, Provorov. Sanheim! <laughs> That's his first of his career. He worked really hard for that one. Passing around, trying to find that opening. And I'm, I can't believe we have a 3 to 1 lead. Sanheim, another rookie. <laughs> Another rookie gets his first goal of his career. So two rookies scoring their first goals of their career here. Sandheim from Provorov in Lawton. So Provorov picks up another point. Simmons. Oh, that one grazed the top of the crossbar. Well, this bodes well for us going forward, the injuries. We can put three in on the Bruins here at home. Again, we've just been so good at home. I want to take a look at our home record, actually, after this game. Hopefully we can hang on here. Still nine minutes to go, plenty of time. Nolan Patrick trying to feed it through. Picked up by Bergeron. We know how quickly the computer can score in this game. Bergeron takes it away. Zarnik. Oh, that one just over the bar. That one shot. Nowhere near. Pasternak. Raffle intercepts. Trying to push it, but McGavey goes it. Steals it away from him. Go and slap it in, and we miraculously have a 3 to 1 lead here. They're really struggling for a while, but. A couple of rookies have stepped up with some goals here. Gudis, Sandheim, he's, he just got that goal. Becky Owen smushed against the boards, and it's going to be a penalty for boarding, I think. Look like boarding. McQuaid. Um, well, we will go back on the power play here. A chance to add to our lead yet, yet again. Coppola will jump it off. Simmons skate into the zone and keep it nicely there. Coppola is going to play one of the points here. Martel. To Simmons, deflected. Oh, Patrick couldn't quite collect it. Martel lost it on a stick out in front. We did well there to find Simmons for the one-timer. We'd love to have Claude Giroux taking those, but of course, <laughs> as I say every game, he's still injured, and he will be for a while. Oh, Bruins pressing here. We nearly had to take a face-off in our own zone. There's Martel now. He's a rookie. With a goal today. Go pull up. Patrick Bruins really clogging up the middle towards the goalie, not giving us all this room out here. Vilpula deflected, but Rask found it and covers it up. Uh, yeah, broadcast. Those will all be Twitch and YouTube broadcasts for you guys, of course. Looks like we got some road games coming up. It's going to be a big test for us. See if we can stay in the hunt early on. About a quarter of the way or so through the season. A little more than a quarter of the way. It's been fun so far, I'll tell you. I'm really enjoying this season and this game. Right, Vecchion. Provorov. Gostas Bear. Provorov. Lines one up. And McQuaid, as you can see, is out of the box as he absolutely... 
smunches Provorov. And we just take a tripping call here. Oh. So, our power play is over, and the Bruins will have one now. Bruins 0 for 2, but they look dangerous in that last power play. And Neuwirth was huge. This is important. We can kill this off. Gudis clears it. Because there's still time. And they get one on this power play. It's going to be a nervy finish. Bacchus poked away from him. And we clear it again. Our penalty kill has just been so effective lately. Guys like Laterra, who I really can't call down to the AHL. Because how well he does on the penalty kill and he's popped up with some goals for us too as long as he keeps doing his job on the penalty kill popping up with a goal or two every now and then Spooner poked away from him Neuverth I think was the one that poke checked it away so I was saying about Laterra as long as he keeps doing what he's doing he's going to stay up with the team there's Laterra again well done Jordy Laterra Krug, he can't poke it away. He can't collect it, but they Bruins coming in the zone. Krejci looking for Bacchus. Thought he had a shot there. Chara now. Krug, <sighs> Neuwirth with the save again. 14 left on the power play. Oh, three minutes left in the game, guys. Look at this. Michael Neuwirth, let's, let's let this show here because he deserves some credit here. There was this big uh, glove save. There's another save. Those were on the last power play, I believe. He's been outstanding again. One of the major reasons why our goals against average has gone down because of the play of Neuwirth. That one's blocked out in front. Well done by Goss Bear. Power play is over. Provorov back in. Taylor Lear, who has scored as well today. Netney can't pick it up. Carlo. Still a couple minutes left. Can we see this one out? That one blocked. The last moment. That one blocked as well. Mattel. Get out of the zone. Lawton. Does Konechny, Simmons, trying to get off the shot. Carlo takes it away from him. A minute and a half to go here. Nolan Patrick wins it and wrists it in. Simmons bumped away by Carlo. Stolen by Nolan Patrick. And he's boarded too, so the Bruins may have just dug their own grave there for this game. We will go in the power play with a minute left. Looking like we're going to take the full two points. This is a great. What a result. Keep our winning streak going. The Bruins almost looking like they were trying to score an own goal right there. The Toronto. They're pulling their goalie here, so it will be 5-on-5. Five five. Martel. Wrist it in, looking for the goal, but can't. Oh, Quaid takes it over. There's a big hit there. Pasternak. This shot saved, but there's the rebound. He picks it up. Looking to collect it. Astronach. Oh, the Bruins hit the post there. Mattel risked it in there. Probably should have tried to go up and shoot it, but just want to waste time here, really. Poked the wave there. 15 to go. It's all but over now. Another poke away. Six seconds to go here. Egg playing around. Philpola just going to hold it in the corner here. And we've beaten the Bruins at home here. Great job by Neuwirth. Good game by Vecchione, Sanheim, Laterra. And look at that, saluting the fans that came out here. We got outshot, we got out face offed by a lot. And we had a couple more hits than them, though. 
but we come away with a 3-1 win. Well done. I can't believe this. Was that our fourth win in a row now, I think? Our third. I think it might be our third win in a row. Uh, well, let me save it real quick, guys. Because I'm really proud of that effort there, so I want to <laughs> make sure it's saved. Okay, um... Alright, we'll sim up to the next game, see if we got the flames. Jordan Wheel... I, I don't, I'm not sure what's going on there. This is Jordan Wheel's available to play, but... He's back, Voracek. Voracek able to play now? I don't know, like... I thought that they were going to be out longer, but I don't want to risk injury. And the last time I saved a guy, it was Giroux, and he ended up getting injured anyways. <laughs> Let's go to the calendar now. Let's see how many wins in a row that was. That's three or four. Let's see, we beat the Islanders 6 nothing, Then the Penguins. Then the Sharks. And now the Bruins. Yeah, that was four wins in a row. Oh, so we were 10, 11, and 1. After that loss, those bad losses. I mean, look, we had four losses in a row that really bad, giving up lots of goals. Five there, six there, nine there, five there. And now our defense has been much better. A shutout there. We gave up four against the Penguins, yeah, but we won. Gave up just two against the Sharks, and now just one against the Bruins. Before those losses, we were playing pretty good defensively, too. So, offense struggled a bit in this game, but we still managed to put in three and win the game. So very, but now we got some road games coming up. Let's take a look at the standings. Take a look at our top point getters. Let's see, Voracek is our top point getter with 23 points. He is injured still. Couturier is out. Voracek, Voracek and Jordan Wheel. I mean. Uh, can play in this next game, I think. But I'm not sure if I'm going to play them. See, look, lotero has got 9 points for us. McDonald even has 10 points. Well, he's got 9 assists, at least. Um, Phil Pluck connecting me. We're just getting contributions all over the ice. Sam Morin's got 11 points. Even Dale Weiss has 12 points. Hag's got 14. Look at the rookie, Patrick. 8-8 eight and eight for him. Provorov with 17 points. He's our fifth leading scorer, point-wise. He's our second leading goal scorer with 10. Couturier Simmons, so really good effort all around there. We'll take a look at the standings, division standings. We're third, so we are in a, currently in a playoff spot because the top three from each division automatically go to the playoffs. Then two other teams from the conference, they can be a team from each division or they can be Two teams from our division, two teams from the Atlantic, just two other wild card teams, if you will. But the top three from each division automatically go. So we are in right now. And the Penguins are tied with us, but we have two games in hand on them. And I want to see our home record, actually. So we want to go to entire league. Does it give us home and away records? Oh, it does. Okay. So I just got to find us real quick. There we are. We are 9-4-1 at home. We actually lost four games at home without getting any points. I thought just 5-7 and seven on the road. No overtime losses there. But So some road games coming up. We need to improve that road record if we're going to make the playoffs. So we got to try and get some points here. But continue to play pretty darn well at home. Alright guys, that's going to do it for this video. Hope you enjoyed another game, flyer season, and um, come back next time to come see the Flames. They look like they're literally on fire. 18-8, no, look at their, look at that record. Holy crap. So, um, that's a really good record for them. They're going to be dangerous. Calgary is always a tough place to play. Alright, until next time, everyone, zero is the number.